What's up guys, in today's video we're going to talk about the Rebel 12 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Now, uh, there's a lot of things I actually do like about this battery. Let me start off with what I do not like. And it was my customer service experience with this company. Their time frame on the replies to emails are, is like five days to a week. On March 15th, I ordered this battery and ended up canceling it on the 19th. So I waited about five days and just ordered it off Amazon because I hadn't shipped yet. And then it took them 10 days to reply back to me to confirm the cancellation. By that time I already had the battery from Amazon. So um, as far as customer service goes, I'm gonna give it two out of five stars. One, because they answered my email and two, because they did cancel my original order straight from their website. So if all goes well here and you guys end up ordering this battery, let's go ahead and order it from, from Amazon. Uh, their, their website just takes too long. So hopefully that's the, the only bad thing I have to say about this battery. Uh, I, I really like a lot of things about it. It's a veteran owned company. Uh, they just seem to not prioritize customer service like I would like to see them do. So hopefully that changes after this video. We'll see. Let's get into it. Hey, if you're new around here, my name is Jeremy. I'm an electronics technician with about oh, 15 years experience working with DC circuits and batteries. Uh, make sure if you get anything out of this video, do me a favor, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Appreciate it guys. Here we go. So what I have here is the 12 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from Rebel Batteries. Uh, fairly new company. Uh, size comparison, it's gonna be the same size as your Dakota lithium 18 amp hour. This is a 12 amp hour, let's put this guy away. Uh, now Amped does have the same capacity uh, battery, same chemistry, and a smaller, smaller package. You can see that there. Uh, Let's get this guy weighed up. Three point one four ounces for the Rebel battery. Compare that to Amp. Amp is a little bit lighter. Two pounds, twelve point three ounces. So there's a bunch of QR codes on here. Let's let's go over the what all we have on this battery. This code right here that says tips, tutorials, tips, and more. So let's check that out. Eh, and page not found. Okay. Uh, so let's look at this other QR code. And this one right here, I. I love the idea of putting these QR codes on here, but if they don't work, then why do it? So let's, uh, I, I think this battery company just has a lot of stuff they need to clean up. Uh, this QR code here says web page data sheet. Now, when you scan it, it takes you to the listing on the Rebel uh, page, their website. The, the problem is I've been over there, all over their website and I can't find the damn data sheet for it. So I just don't have time to wait for another email from them uh, before making this video. So we're just gonna go with what we have. There's a lot of information on Amazon, so I think that's gonna just be the more reliable source of information than their website. So I graphed out the discharge curve of this battery on the computer, and we end up getting 12.057 amp hours. So, I mean, it, skin, it, it barely, barely passed, um, which is great. It passed, so check mark there. Now I did buy this battery on Amazon, it costs $68.95 for a 12 amp hour battery. That's a really good price, especially for American owned uh, company. Now they're not making these here. 
Um, but as far as a, a American owned company, it's, it's one of the lower priced batteries on the market. Uh, it comes out to $5.74 an amp hour. You compare that to a Dakota Lithium, Dakota Lithium is like 10 bucks. So this is just a little bit over half of the cost of a Dakota Lithium. Let's talk about their Amazon listing. They have what they're showing for the BMS protections, a high low temperature protection circuit, an over and under charge protection, short circuit, and over and under current. So let's test some of that stuff out. This battery will not charge when it's below freezing, uh, which is very important for ice fishermen. Uh, I feel it, like it's very important for ice fishermen. Um, and I'm kind of surprised this battery has it because they don't really market to the ice fishing community. It's more the kayak guys and they're based off Texas. So uh, good job on, on getting that in this battery. This battery can be wired up uh, four of them in series or parallel. Now, the only other battery in this this size that I know of that can do that is the Dakota Lithium uh, brand of batteries. Uh, usually, in these smaller, cheaper, lower capacity batteries, you don't have that ability to wire them in series. This one, you can wire four of them in series for 48 volts. Yeah, I, I just feel like there's a lot of things this company can clean up. QR codes, getting on the ball with your customer service, um, getting batteries shipped. Don't take orders for batteries. If you don't have them in stock, you're just going to piss off your customers. So I, I think there's a lot of room for improvement, uh, but I think there's a lot of potential for this battery company. Well, let's do our short circuit protection test. All right, got the amp meter here to verify um, current going through this wire. And we should have, inside this BMS, we should have a short circuit protection circuit. Now, if you've seen not my other videos, you know this doesn't necessarily go well every time. So that's, here we go. Look at that. Zeros. I don't think it changed at all. Oh, 2.8. Ooh. All right, it kicks in. It might spark a little bit, but it does kick in. Let's get a voltmeter. Let's make sure I didn't damage the battery. Make sure we still have voltage on it. Thirteen point two nine volts. So we are good. Well guys, it's about time to void the warranty. If you're new around here, that's where we open this battery and uh, take a look at the build quality. So before we do that, I get emailed a lot asking what batteries do I recommend. Down below in the video description, there's gonna be a list of batteries that I recommend. Um, I prefer that you just go down there instead of sending me an email, which I may or may not even answer because I get a ton of them. Just go down in the, in the description and look at those batteries. Those are the ones I recommend. I'm not going to recommend any batteries I don't have experience with or, I've, or I haven't tore apart. Also, if you have a battery question or you want to tell me about your, your setup and ask me what batteries you should buy for it, do that in the comments. Don't email me those because I, I, I tell you what, I get 20 to 30 emails a day. I'm not responding to them anymore. If you have a question, you want me to respond to it, Ask it in the comments. Let's for this warranty. Here we go. Okay. One thing I'm, I'm seeing right now that I already do like is that some uh, silicone all the way around this thing. That's gonna do wonders for waterproofing this battery. I'm actually impressed it has that. Pretty excited about that. I don't think I've seen another battery silicone the lid on like that.
Okay, here we go. Fairly easy to get open, but probably one of the most waterproof, I think, uh, enclosures on the market, that, or at least the ones that I have seen. Other than the Nakwa battery, if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link up here. But yeah, this, I would not have any problem accidentally getting this wet. So, silicone, bathroom caulk, whatever, I'd call it bathroom caulk too. Uh, see, good seal around, around here. There's these edges where I, that's for me, chipping it out. So, very, very well sealed battery. I dropped it. <laughs> Looks like it took the fall pretty well. Uh, so, so far, very well, so far, very well secure. Uh, as waterproof as it's gonna get with your, your caulking around it. Uh, so far, build quality, I'm, I'm happy with. Get the shrink wrap off here. This looks very, very Markham-like as far as the battery construction goes. I bet you this battery and battery company and Markham are getting their batteries made by the same outfit. So these cells, they're 32700 cells, 6 amp hours. Make sure you guys can see that. So this pack... We have four sets of series cells. Each set has two battery, two cells in parallel. Six amp hours, six amp hours, 3.2 volts, 3.2, 3.2, 3.2. So we take these 3.2 volts times that by four. That gets your, your that gets you your 12.8 nominal voltage. I really like the construction of this pack. What's standing out to me the most right now is something I've been talking about in a bunch of different videos is this fish paper between these series cells. These series cells have different potential, um, different voltages just underneath this, this uh, shrink coat right here. So you want to keep that separate in case that shrink wrap, um, you know, fails. Uh, this fish paper between those cells will prevent that from shorting out. So very happy with this. I am pleasantly surprised. So look at this. This is their temperature sensor right here. That is their temperature sensor. And it's taped down to the cell. That's exactly what you want. You don't care about the how cold the BMS is. You care about how cold the, the cell is. I'm, I'm digging this, guys. So one of the things I did notice, and I don't see it on here, was the high temperature sensor. And usually the cold temperature and the high temperature is not the same probe. But I'm kind of wondering if that's not the case here. I think it might be. So what we're gonna do, our, we already know this works in cold to stop it from charging. We're gonna heat this up and try to discharge this for the high high temperature discharge test. So I'm gonna get that set up right now. All right, we got this guy hooked up to the discharge tester right here. Now we're gonna heat this probe and see if that cuts out the, um, stops it from discharging.
check that out. I've never seen one of these do both. Cold temperature and... Huh, that's sweet. Now we'll disconnect it. I bet you it comes back. Disconnect it, hook it back up. There it goes. All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty with this thing. I know I'm pretty critical about them with their customer service. That's something they need to clean up. The build quality of this is probably up there uh, one of the best I've I've done so far. That's why I am going to recommend this battery. I recommend you buy it from Amazon so you get the fast shipping and um, hopefully you don't have to dick around with their customer service or hopefully it gets better. The cold temperature charging protection circuit is pretty sweet. Really like that. I'll leave a link to this battery down in the description below where you can pick this up on Amazon. If you want to watch that Markham video to compare this battery to that, that one, make sure you hit that link right there. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. See you on the next one.